So before work, I like to get a good handle on what the news stories of the day are. And I have to do it at home because um, my computer at my office is Chinese. I work for the Chinese government essentially, so a lot of websites are blocked, especially websites with um, news stories that the government doesn't find uh, deemable to <laughs> show the general public. So. For instance, the site I'm on now, Huffington Post, well, it's considered too liberal and has had some stories that were negative about China. So um, I have to make sure to get this special program that gets me around the Great Firewall of China. Um, I also check Drudge Report to get a more conservative angle. And um, of course, Facebook is blocked, also YouTube. So if I want to do any of that stuff, I have to do it here at home before I leave for work. China star blogger treads fine line. Hmm. Google's been interesting too because I use their news feature a lot, but just depending on the topic, sometimes things will pop up and sometimes they won't. All right, so I also want to try to get a feel um, for what's making headlines around the world before I go into work, even though I work for a news organization. Internet porn sites in China now accessible. What? The government has not said why the porn sites were unblocked. Repeated calls to the Ministry of Industry and Information and Technology went unanswered. <laughs> 
doubt that will be in the newscast today. Was there another Foxconn death? China jails Uyghur journalists for 15 years. Oh, I guarantee we won't have anything on that. Too sensitive. Guilty of endangering national security. One day trial. So look, if I search this guy's name and I take off this VPN program, this is what will happen. I'm actually surprised we even just got this too much to come up, even if it is just a headline. And type in another sensitive topic here, trying to protest. China criticized over Tibet riots. Give me more than just the headline. See, and by now I'm losing patience, which is exactly what regular people in China will do, and then they just won't read the story, or try to find another way to read the story. So if I turn my little VPN program back on, I should be able to get all of this information. But it costs money to do this. same story. And see, it just pops right up. 